As Tracy is driving, she sees a sign telling her the road has a 7% grade. Here's a sign. It means that we rise 7 meters. This is 7 meters. So let me just redraw this here. So we rise 7 meters and we have a horizontal change of 100 meters. This is what we mean by 7% grade. So how do we calculate this angle? How do we express the angle here? So we're going to have this angle theta. And we realize that this is a triangle, a right triangle. So when we have a right triangle and we, we're interested in the angle and, and the sides, we think Sokotoa. So ka toa. And we're interested in the opposite and the adjacent. Opposite, adjacent. So what can we write here using basic trig, trig ratios? We know that tan theta is equals to the opposite, which is 7, over adjacent, which is 100. Now we are interested in theta. We want to calculate the angle. We're not interested in calculating tan theta. We want to calculate theta itself. So how do we solve for theta? Now we have an equal sign here. So we need to isolate theta all by itself. So the key idea here is that we take the inverse tan inverse of tan theta is equals to tan inverse of 7 over 100. We're allowed to take the inverse trig of both sides. So what happens is the inverse trig function cancels with the regular trig function, just leaving just theta all by itself. So we know that theta is equals to tan inverse 7 over 100. And so the question here is saying, which will calculate the angle theta? And it, the answer here is this expression here, tan inverse 7 over 100. So C is the correct answer.